Namaste friends and hope you're doing well. Let's look at K2 in the fourth house. So what is fourth house? The fourth house denotes mother, homeland, conveyances like house, cars, factory, properties, apartments, etc. Happiness is a house of happiness and peace. It also shows uh, office, one's working office, uh, relatives and also the home or the physical house, the home, right? The home and the house. So what happens when Ketu um, comes into this house? So Ketu again, uh, it's a planet of uh, enoughness. It provides just nice, it's not excited about getting more out of the attributes of a specific house. In this case, uh, what happens is when uh, it goes to the fourth house, the fourth house is also called the uh, Sukhastana. Sukha means uh, happiness right it's a house of general happiness if you want to know if you'll be happy in this life uh, or generally speaking would you be uh, contented in this life then look at the fourth house so k2 as i said is a uh, uh, you know he's a mediocre he, he he takes things a little bit laid back uh, not so active not so adventurous not courageous he's just uh, you know just uh, just another average joke you know, per se so when he goes to the fourth house, first of all, the feelings for the one's mother would not be as strong. Uh, it'd be just like, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not like you really love the, your mother. You will have a, a, a detachment. Some, some even would uh, lose their mother when they were young. If they have K2 in the fourth house, they might have a stepmother uh, or the mother might even pass on, right? Uh, homeland. Now, uh, K2, if it is a homeland, it will make this person uh, not very patriotic about the old country. They would uh, they would feel you know it's just a, it's a, it's a place for me to stay. Full stop. There's nothing much to it. Okay, uh, patriotism is a is a privilege actually. So K2 doesn't have it. Next would be conveyances. Now this is the worst thing that one can happen in, in a person's life, especially when they're moving on towards their adulthood where you need to earn money, right? And uh, of course, why do we earn money? We, we would like to, you know, be nice. We like to enjoy the pleasures of life, buy a nice house, a fancy car, you know, go and see the world, this sort of things, right? So what happens if K2 comes to the fourth house? Because the fourth house also represents conveyances, your house, car, uh, and your, uh, the luxuries of life. When he goes there, it uh, bereft's everything else. You will feel that uh, all your efforts to to get a house, to acquire something in this world, will be so difficult. It'll be like you know, it's like you're dragging a huge boulder behind you. You find it so hard to even buy simple things. You know, put some savings in the bank. You just can't do it, and you feel very frustrated because of that. And uh, that is why people who have uh, K2 in the fourth house are seen as, you know people who have nothing in life they are just uh, uh, it's hard to use the word loser but then yeah for the lack of a better word you know, they are always uh, you know just going around empty talks you know just uh, wilding away their time they're not doing much they're, they're just wasting their time um, there's some who really wants to to make it big they find it very difficult and struggling uh, also the office in the office there would not be any promotions and they really don't care whether they get a promotion or not as long as they get their salary they're happy you know relatives uh, and also home back home they are not a, a person who if it's a father or if it's a mother they are not uh, very engaging to the children if it's the spouse either way if to the husband or the wife they are not uh, you know communicating well and engaging they are always uh, you know they don't bother whether you're there at home whether you're not they're really not bothered they they feel that uh, you know it's their own responsibilities it's uh, you know if you are a part of the family and it's uh, if you have responsibility then it's yours you know i've have, i've have no intentions to get uh, engaged and uh, help you out so that sort of mentality so k2 the fourth is really going to give a hard time uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and to make things worse if you have another planet together with it uh, for example if you have uh, mercury uh, a buddha in in that same house then Mercury's uh, qualities will be then absorbed by Ketu. Ketu will have Mercury plus itself. So you can imagine all the good qualities of Mercury, like speech, eloquence, uh, you know, mathematics, logical thinking, and all that would be would be a waste. 
will, will, will go to a waste. And that's why it's important to 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 look where the nodes are, Rahu and Ketu. Now, if you if someone would think, um, why why does this Rahu and Ketu giving all sort of problems? It's because these two planets, apart from uh, Satan or Sunny, are the karmic planets. They show what we have done in our previous life. It gives an astrologer a clue as, as what could have happened in the previous birth. And that's why it is reflecting now. Okay, so that's my thought about what uh, K2 would do if it's on the fourth house. I hope it's beneficial. Namaste.